Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Sunday, April 28th. And I'm here with an April wrap-up because I'm all done with my April goals. Now, the first thing on my April goals was an Ami book challenge, and I already dropped something. There we go. Stay. For the Ami book challenge, I did a reversible penguin. Yo. Whoop. And the penguin turns into an egg. This is a pattern from Not Monster. I got the Not Monster book of reversibles. So, yay! Got that done. Second thing on my list was the Mystery Yarn Challenge for April. Now that's hosted by Lori over at Armchair Chef. You can send yarn to someone and someone sends yarn to you and you need to make stuff from those colors. You need to make at least one project that uses all of the colors and then you know, it's up to you. You know, If you want to just, okay, I've made my one thing, now I'm going to put the yarn into my stash and finish it up on something else. Or you can do a little extra and try to finish the yarn off, which is what I tried to do this month. I started out with five cakes of yarn, five skeins of yarn. What I have left is this much. I'm thinking I want to try to make keychain chickens. So that's what I've got this earmarked for. This I think would make a nice color for the coffee in my little coffee mugs that I make. Haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll make a few coffee cups with this. That's all I have left. It's going to go into my scrap basket out in the living room. So, what did I make with all this stuff? Well, the first item, which is also <laughs> I'm just looking at my list and realizing I don't know okay I remember now okay I'm looking at the next item on my list thinking what did I make with that okay I got it got it this is the item that I made that used all five colors of my mystery yarn challenge I've got the blue, the gold, the white fleck, the golden fleck, and this gusset. The gusset that goes up here and over here is the, oh, it was Big Twist, Big Twist something. I think I have it written down in my notes, but finish this up. Then I worked, went out to work on other projects, and then just over the course of the past couple days, I have been churning stuff out to use up the yarn. Like, with the golden fleck, I made a little chicken. And a little cat. And I made another chicken. With a little carrying carrying bag. I am all out of my emotional support chicken tags, but my husband's going to make me some more. So this will have a little tag on here that says emotional support chicken. This guy needs a little more stuffing in the head. Excuse me while I squish him around a little bit. Then I made a bigger chicken. with a bigger bag. See, this one has got, oops, we've got to get it centered, with the emotional support chicken tag on it. And I showed you the, the flurry of little things. Another little cat in the big twist. 
variegated yarn that I got in the mystery yarn challenge and then I made a pop mushroom boop, 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 boop. with that and my mini mushroom and a hippo then there was one more project you haven't seen yet I made a loaf kitty by Twinkie Chan I want to make more of these this was fun the only thing I would change was she has you go do the head and go all the way down and finish off the head and then the body you start back here and you go to 30 stitches well if you're finishing with 30 stitches on the body why not just stop at 30 stitches on the head then you've got stitch for stitch to sew it and you save yourself 24 18 12 six, you save yourself four rows so when I make it again I think that's what I'm going to try. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with the one I just dropped, twelve, twelve projects from this month's Mr. Yarn Challenge. Now I gotta fit them all in the light box and get a picture to send to Lori. So I can wrap this up for March, May, April. <laughs> what month is it? See, this is what happens when you're not working all week long. <laughs> you sort of lose track of what day it is, what day, what month it is, all that. Okay. Then, the next thing on my list was the artist choice bag. And I used a bag that my husband had made up that had a blue, a green, a tan, and I made ace the ankylosaurus i also made a striped chameleon and a chubby bear next one was the yip yips that i wanted to make a total of three yip yips. I already had one made up, but I wanted to make two more and get an empty listing up for the yip yips. Did that. The emotional support chicken. This guy, girl, had her own spot on my April challenges. So she got credit in two categories, but she, she's done. Then the, um, bought pattern that I bought but not made before I finally finished Charlie horse yay that was my bought not made pattern for I think three months finally got around to making it hopefully I'll do better with that in May then design the monster of the month Excuse me. This guy was version 1.0. This guy's 2.0. And I've got the pattern written up and with a tester. So that should be up on my blog as a free pattern very soon. I'm just giddy. Like it's April 28th and I have finished my projects. The next one was an ankle source which was also used with the Artist Choice yarn. So there's Ace again and a Ballerina Kitty. I have to put a picture up because it already sold at the craft show. So I guess I'm remaking that one. And the last one was to put up five new Etsy listings. And as of yesterday morning, I just finished that up. Like Charlie Horse went up. And I put up an updated hippo listing to get the flower power hippo up there. So I don't know what's going on here. I mean, February and March, I make these small lists, like five or six things, and I don't finish my lists. For April, I make a list of 10 things. I finish them. Um, for May, 
I know that there will be at least the three constants of the Ami Book Challenge. I'm going to look through my books tonight and see which one I haven't made something from yet and pick out a pattern from there. The Bought Not Made. I have a list on the laptop that I can um, just do a random number generator and pick one out of there. And the Mystery Yarn Challenge. I've already told Lori I'm in for May. So I just have to wait for my yarn to show up and then go for it. So I'm still sort of um, vaguely formulating a list for May. I will have two craft shows in May. The first weekend of May, I'm going down to my daughter's house and doing a show. Um, I want to have a whole bunch of the emotional support chickens in their little carrying bags made up. So right now I have three bags and five chickens. And I gave my husband three little patches of leather to do some more burning the words on for me. So that won't take me long. I'll have that done this week. I want to make another emotional support chicken. I have this cute, colorful, variegated yarn that okay, that I would do these gussets in and then pick up the colors from that variegated, which is like pink, blue, green, pick those up for the body. And I think, I think I may have goofed a bit with this in that the Karen Simply Soft and the Heartland yarn was more of a DK weight. And this was like a heavy worsted weight. So I think this got just a little bit out of balance with this section being bigger than the rest of it. So I'm going to try to stick to regular worsted weight and not vary weights all that much and see how she turns out on the second try. So that's definitely one of my things. Oops, I'm knocking stuff down. Ballerina Kitty, a remake of that is also on the list. And I want to get the scrap basket next to my chair back under control again, which I think I can do by restocking a lot of the little items that sold at the last show, like little pop mushrooms. Um, I think I'm down to only two colors of these. So I want to make about 10 different colors. Get those restocked. There's a mushroom frog that I need to make. Um, this have fun with making cute little things from the scrap yarn. So May might be a little bit more loosey goosey. Oh, I forgot to mention the May monster of the month. See, this is why I need to make my lists because, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I already have it sketched up. There's going to be floppy ears, tentacle arms, haven't decided how many arms yet. Hmm. And three eyes. That's just the monster that I'm just I'm sitting there and I'm just sketching. And, you know, okay. It's going to be a weird one, but they're fun. They're fun. I probably should make another listing of monsters because my monster listings are filling up because I just have such fun making monsters. Because there's, you know, just wing it. Just whatever you feel like doing, whatever color, whatever, you know. How, how many eyes you want to put on? How many arms you want to put on? Just, 
it's very creative. So that's it. I am going to go start working on some stuff for my Timu Tuesday. I have the yarn pulled out and I'm going to start working on projects from that yarn. See how many projects I can get from one skein. So hopefully by maybe tomorrow I'll have my May goals very solidified and organized and ready to put on my blog and into video form. But right now I'm just like, yeah, Mr. Yarn Challenge 424 in the books. Bring on Mr. Yarn Challenge 524. Woot, woot. Okay. Time for me to go get this edited and then I can play with yarn while it's uploading. I do need to get the computer out because I realize I haven't put links. I haven't filled in the description box from yesterday's video with links. <sighs> I'm so bad at that. I don't, <laughs> I don't like working on the laptop. I suppose I could go like to a library computer. My laptop doesn't do well with copy and paste. If there's any techie people out there, okay, put the mouse on, highlight stuff. When I release the mouse to go copy, it loses the highlighting. Stop that. And I'll have to try like three or four times. Sometimes if I go backwards, like if I start low and then highlight up to the top, then it'll stick, but it doesn't work for me. Okay. It's over 17 minutes. Hopefully it'll let me upload this. Bye bye.